hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, in today's video we are going to discuss about uh, electromyogram or EMG which is the recording of the electrical activity associated with uh, the skeletal muscles okay the muscle groups that we have associated with various body parts uh, such as uh, the biceps triceps our thighs and uh, quads etc so those uh, muscle groups the recording of the electrical activity the electrical potential which are generated by these muscle groups they come under uh, the recording of the electromyogram potential so what is EMG so it is the recording of the electrical activity the electric potentials which are generated by the skeletal muscle groups okay the biceps the triceps the thighs the hips the quads uh, the shoulders etc the common muscle cells which we associate with that these are these uh, muscle groups they come under the electromyogram recording now the contraction and expansion of these skeletal muscles okay whenever we uh, perform any uh, physical activity such as uh, exercising uh, lifting an object moving walking uh, there is a contraction and expansion of the skeletal muscles because it involves movement of legs movement of hands movement of shoulders so there will be a resultant contraction and expansion of these skeletal muscles as a result there is a migration of charges the ions involved in the body fluids associated with these muscles and these migration of ions produces the action potential which is called as electromyogram now these potentials are of clinical uh, diagnostic significance in uh, the medical system so this is the EMG the electromyogram so the amplitude range of EMG is from 0.1 to 5 microvolt and the frequency range is from 5 Hertz to 2 kilohertz okay so this is the amplitude range from 0.1 to 5 microvolt and the frequency range is from 5 Hertz to 2 kilohertz so one thing which is common in ECG EEG and EMG is the amplitude all the uh, the potentials they are of the order of microvolts so the value is very less so that's why it requires proper signal conditioning processing and amplification noise removal uh, filtering uh, all those things are required so that they can be uh, displayed in a proper way so that they can be easily comprehended by the medical professionals for analysis purposes so that's where biomedical signal conditioning and processing comes into play so the generation of the electromyogram potential it follows the same concept as with any other cell the same concept which was used in ECG the same which was used in EEG the same principle involves it is involved in electromyogram that is the cell in the resting state it has negative charge along the inner surface and positive charge along the outer surface okay it means uh, the skeletal muscle which uh, when in, what is in the resting state it has negative charge along the inner surface and positive charge along the outer surface the negative and positive charge here I am referring to are the sodium and potassium ions Na plus and K plus which are the cations and chloride ions which are the anions the negative ions so there is a distribution of charge on both sides of the cell which behaves as a semi permeable membrane as a result the potential which is developed in between them is called as the resting potential this is the cell in the resting state now when there is uh, any physical activity uh, there is any movement of the muscle group groups such as movement of legs hands shoulders or any other body parts thighs there is a contraction and expansion in the muscle groups which results in migration of charges that is 
the outer side it becomes momentarily negative and the inner side becomes positive. So this migration of ions through the semi-permeable membrane, the cell boundary, this redistribution of charges produces an electric potential between them which is called as the action potential and the process is called as depolarization. And uh, this action potential associated with the skeletal muscle cells is called as the electromyogram. So a normal skeletal muscle group looks something like this. Any skeletal muscle associated with any body part, particularly we are concerned with uh, the hands, the legs, and the shoulders. So any skeletal muscle group, it uh, has uh, a structure like this. And if we consider the microscopic uh, cross-section view of it, this is the skeletal muscle cell. In the, this is in the resting state and this is in the excited state. So as a result, it produces an action potential which is called as the electromyogram potential. So it follows a particular waveform that is uh, from the resting state which is normally about minus 90 millivolt for all the cells in general which is the normal value. In the resting state upon excitation it produces the action potential it rises up and then after a certain period of time which is the refractory period it again drops back to its normal state. I have repeated the same thing in uh, case of uh, ECG and EEG. This is the normal principle of, of, uh, of uh, how the action potential is generated which is the same in case of heart cells that is ECG, in case of neurons in EEG and the skeletal muscle cells in case of EMG. So after a certain period of time when the stimulus is uh, taken back, it is being removed. In a normal state, the cell again returns back to the normal, uh, normal behavior and attains the resting potential and this process is called as repolarization. So a EMG waveform, the electromyogram waveform looks something like this. Okay. So it gradually the value, the amplitude in both the positive and negative direction it increases and then it again gradually decreases. So this is the EMG waveform. Okay. So here we have discussed about some of the basic concepts related to the electric potential which is generated by the skeletal muscle groups. Okay. So, for the first thing uh, that we discussed was uh, the resting behavior of the skeletal muscles, that is uh, the resting potential associated with skeletal muscles, where there is negative charge along the inner, positive charge along the outer. Then in the excited state because of any physical activity, which results to uh, contraction and expansion of the muscle groups which results in the generation of the action potential which is the required electromyogram potential and then the again the cell returning back to the resting state the normal state and attaining the resting potential. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.